Well, I'll be home for a pickup with the platform built on the back. Here's the cabin, load it up, time to head for the track. Through the gates to the infield, no better place to party with the friends till the end of the race. In the middle of the action, the center of the stone. Hold on. First heat of the evening on the pole in the 90. And the number 93 car from Antica, that's Mike Graham. And the 09 car, he's from Antica, that's Johnny Cardoza. From Manteca in the 97 car, that's Danny Gabor. Hey, she's back in action here at the track from Stockton in the 54 car, that's Donna Treadway. And from Lodi. In the number 43 car, that's Brian Clark. In the number 40 car, he's from Galt, that's Ray Davis. And from Stockton, in the number 4 car, Tom Dahl. In the number 67 car, he's from Stockton, that's Johnny Bird. And that's your first IB Benedict Pierce Dock Heat Race. and I.B. Benedict Pure Stocks and guess who's on the pole? That's Danny Gabor from Antica.
trouble. Tom Gall spins the car back around, goes the right way. Big bubbles, no troubles. Flags in the air, your leader is Danny Gabor. Mike Graham has a little trouble up there in turn two. Got some smoke coming out of the tail end of the race car. Checkered yellow as Danny Gabor wins the first Ivy Benedict Pure Stock Heat Race of the evening. In the number three car, he's from Antica, that's Stephen Hall. In the 32 car, that's J.C. Saunders. Second row inside, the number six car from Galt, that's Big Daddy John Medina. In the number 68 car, he's from Stockton, that's Ray Bird. From Lodi, in the number 10 car, she's Amy Sullivan. In the number... Zero two car from Murphy's, that's Perry Jefferson. And the number 25 car from Railroad Flats, that's Brian Miller. Scooter, courtesy of Pepsi and Code One, that's right, Code One. We have Code One on sale up here at the pizza stand, high atop the promenade towards the south end. Go up there, check them out. We're going to have some free Code One a little bit later on. But right now, we're going to have an IB Benedict Pure Stock Heat Race. Little bump and rub going into turn one. Stephen Hall jets out in front of the rest of the pack. Look at big daddy John Medina drive into turn three. Hey, we have a winner. We have a grand prize winner already. That's right. John Medina is on a tear. He's wanting to go to the front. He's got to get around J.C. Saunders and the number three car, Stephen Hall. In the meantime, what's your name, little girl? Shirley Lee. Shirley Lee. Well, you're the proud winner of the grand prize out here tonight, the Razor Scooter. Do you like the Razor Scooters? Do you spend a lot of time on those? No, but I have four grandsons, and they're all going to fight over it. <laughs> well, that's a good deal. That's what they're for. They're for the kids, you bet. Congratulations. And thanks for playing. Well, we're getting them lined up again, getting them all in their proper race place. Corner worker gives them the finger, indicating one more lap. Oops, 
J.C. Saunders pins his race car into turn one. Oops, J.C. Saunders pins his race car into turn one. Five laps down, six this time across. Your leader from Antica, Stephen Hall. Second place is Big Daddy John Medina. And third place, Amy Sullivan. With only a couple of laps left, we'll see if there's time for the lead to change. Stephen Hall showing really well the last couple of weeks out here at the Speedway. That's right, code red, not code one. It's the red stuff. And there you have it, the second Ivy Benedict Pure Stock Heat Race. And your winner from Antica, the three cars, Stephen Hall. Followed by the number six car from golf, John Medina. From Lodi, the number three car, for, the number ten car for third place. That's Amy Sullivan. Rounding out the top four in the zero two car for Murphy's Perry Jefferson. And now another Ivy Benedict pure stock heat race on the track in the 23 car from Stock, and that's Dustin Himes. On the outside in the 66, 60 car from Galt, that's Stacy Medina. From Galt in the 7 car, Eric Grafe. In the 66 car from Stockton, Ken Radcliffe. And from Lodi in the 31 car, that's Jeff All. In the 37 car, he's from Stockton, that's Joey Stearns. Last row inside in the 15 car is from Modesto, Charlie Clausen. And from Stockton in the 74 car, that's C.W. Davis. And now if starter Chris is ready, we're ready to take on the third Ivy Benedict Pure Stock Heat Race. Eric Grafe in a seven car with a little trouble down the back stretch. Gets it straightened out, three abreast off of turn four. They keep doing it, they get away with it. Usually three abreast off of four doesn't work here at Stockton. The skill and talent level of the IB Benedict Pure Stock drivers is always amazing. Your leader is in the 60 car. That's Stacy Medina being challenged heavily on the inside by the 66 car of Ken Radcliffe. They drag race down the back stretch into turn three. Getting awful close out there. Jeff Hall takes a look underneath coming off of turn four. And there goes Joey Stearns. Threads the needle down the front stretch into turn one on the outside of the 31 car of Jeff Hall. Once again, drag racing down the back stretch into turn three. 66 car, your leader. Jeff Hall takes a look. Ken Radcliffe closes the door. However, Jeff Hall slides underneath the 66 car as the 37 car takes heat as well underneath the 66 car off of turn four. It's Jeff Hall. Joey Stearns and Ken Radcliffe.
There's the checkered flag and your winner from Lodi in the 31 car, that's Jeff Hall. Jeff's followed by the 37 car from Stockton, Joey Stearns. In third place, the number 66 car, Ken Ratcliffe. And in fourth place, in fourth place, the number 74 car, C.W. Davis. Alrighty then, we've got another Ivy Benedict Pierce stock heat race on the track. Look at that 58 car, he's back. He took a little vacation from Stockton. That's Casey Barbaris. In the 11 car from Valley Springs is Tracy Bolin. In the number 78 car from Stockton, that's John Rose. In the number eight car from Stockton, that's Kanai Scantlin. From Lodi, in the number one car, Michael Wint. In the number 21 car from Morgan Hill is Tom Bolin. And in the 75 car, he's from Stockton, that's Chad Holman. Eight fast and fun furious laps around the high banks here at Stockton. Once again on the pole, Casey Barbaris. Casey just a little slow on the start there. Starter Chris is going to give him another chance to get it together. And see if we can pull this off properly. Tom Bolin takes a look on the underneath side of the 58 car off of turn four. It's Tom Bolin. Chad Holman follows suit for second place. Michael Went takes a look underneath the 58 car going into turn three off of four. It's Bolin, Holman, and Michael Went. White flags in the air, Tom Poland's in the lead. Chad Holman's in second place. Michael Went is sideways. There's a checkered flag and your winner in the 21 car from Morgan Hill is Tom Poland. Second place, the 75 car of Chad Holman. 
In third place, the number one car from Lodi, Michael Wynn. And rounding out the top four on the NASCAR Weekly Racing Series leaderboard from Stockton is Kanai Scantlin. Hey, it's the Bay City Racing Association Midgets. That's right, they're gonna run a little heat race for you. And I'm gonna tell you who's in those cars. In the 84 car from Tahoe Paradise is Stuart Gehring. In the number 48 car from Danville is Joe Lindsay. In the number 61 car from San Carlos is Bill Lindsay. In the number 15 car from San Mateo is Jim Fowler. In the 83X car from San Francisco is Cliff Cervetti. In the number 83 car from Danville is Barry Lindsay. heat race on our hands and the players are as follows in the number eight car from Santa Rosa is Gary Dickerson in the number 11 car four-time BCRA champion Floyd Elvis in the number 45 car legendary racing family from Livermore Chuck Gurney Jr. In the number 26 car from Newark, that's Glenn Carson. In the number 94 car from Soquel, Ken Mollica. 
in the double zero car from Pleasanton, that's Pete Davis. Six car from Newark, that's Glenn Carson, followed by the 45 car, Chuck Gurney Jr., in third place. The number six car from San Jose, Dan Gundo, and in fourth place, veteran driver number 11, Floyd Elvis. This is the Vintage Division. There are some fine old race cars out there. How many of you remember the Mickey Ro Rooney movie? Uh, what was the name of that movie? Uh, Hot Wheels or Hell Wheels. Hell Wheels on Fire. Fire Wheels, that's what it was. Yeah, Wheels, Hot Wheels on Fire. I mean, these things date back from the 40s. Beautiful, beautiful midgets restored. And they're out here to do a little exhibition for you tonight. Let's talk a little bit about who's out there. In the 16 car, that's Tom Bellafort. In the 47 car, that's Pete Bray. In the double zero car, that's Frank Gallardi. In the number three car, that's John Mosikian. And the number two car.
got a spin on the front stretch. That's right, a spin on the front stretch. John Mosikian spins his race car. That number three car is powered by KK Offenhauser. KK Offenhauser power plant. Some of the engines in the vintage division are Benson, Benson Offenhauser, Edmund Chevrolet, Curtis V8s, that's the 60 series. Studebaker, how about that? The number 45 car is powered by a KK Studebaker. Yeah, now you gotta remember, these cars are about 50 years old. And if you'll notice, there's not a lot of roll cage out there. You had to be tough back then to drive these cars, that's right. And back then, they didn't even have full face helmets. They had a little leather frame bucket. Most of the guys drove in short sleeve shirts. Seven car from Manteca. That's Danny Gabor. In the number three car, he's from Manteca. That's Stephen Hall. And all the way from Lodi, in the 31 car, that's Jeff Hall. And from Morgan Hill, in the 21 car, that's Tom Bolin. Four fast and fun, furious laps around the high banks here. And now, the IB Benedict Pierce Stock Subway Sandwich Trophy Dash. Jeff All is on the pole. If you have a GMC, a GMC, a red one, GMC 4G G. 4GGB 587, you better go shut your car off. It's out there running in the parking lot. It's a GMC, red GMC Jimmy, 4GGB 587. It's out there running, it's boiling hot. You might want to go shut it off. That is all. Hey, white flags in the air. Jeff Hall's your leader. Tom Boland's a little sideways up there in turn two. Gathers it up. Big bubbles. No troubles. Hey, there's your trophy dash winner in a 31 car. He's from Lodi. That's Jeff Hall. In second place for Manteca, the 97 car, Danny Gabor. That's Danny Gabor. In third place, the number 21 car from Morgan Hill, Tom Bowen. And in fourth place from Manteca, the number three car, Stephen Hall. Follows in the 10 car from Citrus Heights. That's Jay Lindstrom. In the number 87 car from Stockton, Johnny Unger. And in the 4 car, he's from Ceres. That's Greg Williams. And in the 91 car from Stockton, celebrating his 10th year of racing here at Stockton Speedway, that's Steve Stacy. Little bobblehead uh, Pepsi figures, the action figures. You know, you put in the back window of your car, and they bob around. They're way cool. All part of the PBG Summer Challenge. Johnny Unger spins his race car on the front stretch.
The yellow flag flies as they slice, they dice. We'll have to gather them together. Checkered flag's going to fly this time around. Jay Lindstrop from Citrus Heights is your Subway Sandwich Trophy Dash winner. Followed by the number four car of Greg Williams. In third place, the number 91 car of Steve Stacy. And rounding out the top four on the Unical Union 76 NASCAR Weekly Racing Series Stockton 99 Speedway Leaderboard in the 87 car, Johnny Under. And we have two midget, count them, two midget Subway Sandwich Trophy Dash. This is Division Two of the BCRA. They will win three laps, and the players are as follows. In the number 84 car from Tahoe Paradise is Stuart Gehring. And from Danville, the number 48 car, Joe Lindsay. In the 61 car, from San Carlos, Bill Lindsay. And in the 15 car, from San Mateo, Jim Fowler. There it is, your winner in the 61 car. From San Carlos, Bill Lindsay. In second place. And now the four fastest qualifiers for the four lap dash. And the players are as follows in the double zero car from Pleasanton, Pete Davis. In the number 11 car, four time BCRA champion in the 11 car from San Carlos, Floyd Alvis. In the number six car from San Jose, Dan Gundo. And from the world-renowned Gurney Racing family in the 45 car, Chuck Gurney Jr.
wild and western finish indeed. Yes, indeed, crossing the stripe first, according to the scoring staff. I wouldn't want to call that one. However, your winner is the 45 car. That's Chuck Gurney Jr. Well, we're on the front stretch with Jeff, the pro stock winner of the trophy dash tonight. He had a good run there, and you got out front and were able to stay out there. You did a great job. What's your uh, congratulations, and what's your plan for the main tonight? Win. <laughs> there you go. That's what we like to see. How's your car holding up? Uh, it's a little bit loose, but I hope it's going to come to us after the 100 lap truck again. Okay, great. You figure that they'll put a little more rubber down, and you'll be able to tighten the car up a little bit without any adjustments then? Exactly. Okay, congratulations, Jeff, and we wish you the, the best tonight in the main event. From Lodi, Jeff Hall. We got Bill Lindsay, the winner of the Section 2 Trophy Dash tonight. Congratulations, you had a, a good run and you kept the car go coming out of turn two there and were able to get away from them a little bit and uh, to secure the win. Uh, how's your car handling tonight besides that? Uh, my car's really working good tonight. It's uh, kind of an older car, it's about 18 years old. But tough to run with the fast guys, but it's kind of fun with this Division two they got going. How much horsepower are you giving up uh, to the, the division that's above you? I'd say anywhere between 50 to 100. Yeah, that's a lot of power. Well, we uh, congratulate you, and we wish you the best in the main tonight, Bill. Thanks. We're on the front stretch with Chuck Gurney. Car 45, congratulations. You had a tough battle there all the way to the last lap. You had to jump underneath them there and pull it off. You got a little crooked coming across the line, but you were able to hang on. Great race, and uh, how's your car handling besides that? Our car's really great. Um, he got me on a start. I was lagging back. Did a rookie move, but uh, I ran him down, and uh, I'm sorry I got into him, but uh, that's racing, and uh, I apologize, but I just wanted to, I really wanted that dash, I guess. Yeah, it definitely looked like you wanted it. You did a great job. You kept her off the wall anyway, and uh, looks good. And uh, are you going to make any adjustments for the main? Uh, we'll uh, loosen the car up a little bit for the main event. I just got to thank uh, Pete Baraldi and Baraldi Racing, the Ratter Brothers for the crew, and uh, Simpson Race Products, Slot Car Warehouse, Fox City Shield, and Red Line Oil, and the fans for coming out. Thank you. Thank you, and it's great to have you guys out racing tonight. Great to watch you run. Congratulations, Chuck. We're here with uh, Jay, the number 10, the winner of the Grand American tonight. You uh, had to hang in there to win that one. It was tough on the restarts there, and, uh, but you did a great job. Uh, what's your plan for tonight? Oh, stay out of trouble. I've been uh, having some bad luck, three flat, flats in a row. And I know I was racing hard for a piece of plastic, but I had to do it. I haven't got one this year, so I had to pull it off. And did everything I could. It's hard to get around Williams, that's for sure. Well, definitely. You had a good run, and uh, this year, first Trophy Dash win this year. Congratulations, and uh, we hope to see you in the winner's circle many more times yet this year. Thank you. Congratulations, Jay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on a sad note, last week we lost one of our own the son of Floyd Alvis in the number 11 car. Floyd, once again, four-time BCRA championship. Lost his own son, Matt, Matt Alvis. To do a lap for Matt, his father in the 11 car, if we could have a moment of silence, please, as we do a lap for Matt Alvis. Once again, in the 11 car, Matt's dad, Floyd. Floyd Alvis will do a lap for Matt. A moment of silence, if you will.
Oh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure that Floyd and the family appreciates all of your thoughts, your prayers, and your love and respect for the situation. And now, on a little different note, 60 years of marital bliss and a celebration. Bruce Cunningham is personally going to chauffeur Edna and Marlon Bird around the racetrack as Floyd pulls off. One more hand. Thank you very much, Stockton. Once again, Edna and Marlon Bird, mother and father of Ray Bird. Ray drives the 68, the number 68 pure stock, and Johnny Bird's in the 67 pure stock. Well, looks like there's some great grandson, great grandkids up in the front seat there. Maybe great great grandkids. Marlon and Evelyn Bird, 60 years, how about it? 60 years of marital bliss. There it is. <laughs> In the 32 car, that's J.C. Saunders. In the 15 car, that's Charlie Clausen. In the number 58 car is Casey Barbaris. In the 54 car from Stockton, Donna Treadway. In the number 7 car from Galt, Eric Grafe. In the number 4 car from Stockton, Tom Dahl. Moving along to the number 25 car from Railroad Flat, that's Brian Miller. In the 60 car, she's from Galt, that's Stacy Medina. And in the number 68 car from Stockton, Ray Bird. In the number 78 car from Stockton, that's John Rose. And in the 23 car, his sister is the trophy girl today. And that's Debbie's baby boy in the 23 car. That's Dustin Himes. I.B. Benedict Pierce Stock Heat Race about to take place. We're going to transfer four, count them, four cars. Going to go to the A main event. Hey, welcome home, Jerry Goodion. Glad to have you back. Jerry's been in Kansas for a month. But he's back now. Did you see Dorothy while you were back there, Jerry? Yeah, right. Twenty laps scheduled for this B main event as we're up here drinking Mountain Dew Code Red. We got one of those situations that just came and went on the backstretch. That could have been ugly. Saunders has literally checked himself out of this B main event. I don't know if anybody told him he just had to finish top four to transfer, but this guy wants to win it, obviously. In the meantime, Johnny Cardoza and Charlie Clausen battle. Yes, that's right. They battle for second place as Charlie Clausen goes high off of turn two, secures second place over the 0-9 car of Johnny Cardoza.
Oops, Johnny Cardoza getting a little bit of loose there in between two, one and two, as Tom Dahl slips underneath for third place. Johnny Cardoza is still in good shape as far as the transfer spot. However, here comes Donna Treadway. Donna Treadway running down the 09 car. Eric Grave and Donna Treadway off of turn two. Down the back stretch, it's Eric Grave in turn three. Eric Grave for fifth place. Great runs the 09 car down. They bump and rub a little bit going into turn one. Eric Grape looking for a way around the 09 car. Wants a transfer spot. Eric wants to race the main event. And he's off. Eric Grape for the transfer spot. one in the wall. We got one in the wall off of turn two. The 23 car Dustin Hines. I heard the thud all the way up here. That had to hurt. The yellow flag flies on lap number 12. 20 laps scheduled. Well, it looks like Dustin Himes has a little difficulty back there. Gets a little help from Wilson Way Toe. Hey folks, remember, September 1st. That's right, September 1st. We're back at it. Late model action, 100 laps for late model sportsmen. It's the third leg of the Tri-Holiday Classic. I'll tell you a little bit more about that just as soon as this B-Main event is over. And here we go. Charlie Clawson jumps out for the lead. Charlie Clawson is in the lead. J.C. Saunders second place. Let's see how this plays out. situation out there in turn two Donna Treadway quacks the wall with her number 54 racer drives right into the fence Donna Treadway safely drives a race car off the surface tough break indeed 32 car J.C. Saunders loses position. What I tell you about it not being over till it's over?
there's a checkered flag and a wild and western finish to this Ivy Benedict Pure Stock B main event. And your transferees to the A main are as follows. From Modesto in the 15 car, that's Charlie Clausen. Second to transfer to the A main event in the number seven car from Galt is Eric Grave. The third driver to transfer to the A main event in the number four car from Stockton is Tom Dahl. And the fourth car to transfer to the A main event in the 09 car is Johnny Cardoza. In the number four car, he's from Livermore, that's Sammy Bellafor. In the 47 car, from Sierra Village, that's Pete Bray. Well, once again, folks, these cars, some of them are 50 years old and